Right, so this is my FPV camera that I've just built. Uh, it's a bit rough, but it works. In the end, I had to um, fix the um, transmitter to a piece of um, prototyping board because the solder pads on the transmitter are not very big and the wires kept coming off. So I fixed it to the prototyping board and that's made it a lot more stable. And also it gave me a place to stick the CCD camera. And then also the cloverleaf antenna. In the end I went with the cloverleaf because the other antenna, uh, when when I had it on the quad and I was like turning left to right, left to right, uh, the reception would drop out. So this one works a lot better and I've tested it on the quad once and I've had it out to over a hundred meters and it seems to be um, really good reception anyway so yeah and it's just uh, hooked up with a 300 milliamp hour one cell lipo battery uh, the CCD and the transmitter work from 3.3 volts to 5.5 uh, volts so both parts work well together and uh, one cell lipo will easily power it uh, the cloverleaf antenna did have a SMA connector on it but I just chopped that off and soldered it directly to the transmitter to save on weight yeah. so <coughs> here you can see there's the live uh, transmission from the camera it work it's a lot better quality outside but yeah it's pretty decent little camera it's got a nice um wide field of view to it so yeah it's handy <coughs> and it only weighs I'll just unplug the camera Yeah, and the total weight only comes to 19.9 grams. So, you know, I probably could have got it a little bit less if I hadn't used the prototyping board. But uh, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be a bit sturdier. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit um, rugged. I mean, it's not a brilliant job, but it is my first one, so it's not too bad. It'll do the job anyway. Right. So because the um, transmitter on the back here gets hot I'm going to put some um, heat sink compound on there and then I'm going to mount it to this small piece of um, aluminium and then that will serve as a uh, heat sink and also a way to mount it uh, on top of the quadcopter so then I can just uh, wrap a cable tie around or a velcro tie and that will hold it in place then I can just sit the battery on the back there. That will be good. Uh, I'll put links in the description to the um, parts that I used to build this. Just in case um, anybody's interested. Um, yeah, so yeah, give me your comments on it. Tell me what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.